Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make realistic tree with Blender 3.1. Let's get started the lecture. Press Shift A and add a plane. Press Tab key to switch to edit mode. Hit the M key and merge the vertices at center. So, we have only one vertex now. Press numpad 1 and switch to front view. Click on the modifier properties tab, and add skin modifier. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about how to use skin modifier. Then, add a subdivision surface modifier. Set the subdivision level to 2 for viewport. Enable the smooth shading option in the skin modifier. Now, we are ready to make a tree. Hit the E key and extrude the geometry. Press Alt-Z and switch to X-Ray mode. So, we can see the vertices through the model. Let's continue to extrude, and make branches of the tree. Let's select these tree vertices, press Ctrl A, and scale down. Select the these two vertices, scale down little bit more. Select the bottom vertex, scale up little bit. In the same way, keep going on to make branches. Let's select these two vertices, right-click, and subdivide, so, it will add another vertex in the middle. Press Ctrl A, and scale up the trunk of the tree a little bit. We can prevent some glitches problems with moving the vertices. Select this vertex, press numpad 3, and switch to right orthographic view. Extrude the vertex, and make another branch. Switch to front view, select these two vertices, and subdivide. Select the vertex we have just added, and switch to right view again. Extrude, and make another branch. Press Alt-Z and switch to Solid View. It looks cool. Rename this model as Trunk in the Outliner Editor. Now, let's switch to X-Ray Mode again, select the bottom vertex, and make Roots of the Tree. Let's switch to object mode, and apply the skin modifier. Now, let's click on the sculpting workspace, and sculpt the tree for more realistic appearance. Switch to front view. Let's select the grab tool in the left panel. Set the brush strength to 
set the brush size to 40 pixel. We can grab the branches and give more natural appearance to the tree. We can also make thinner roots and branch tips with smooth tool. It looks better now. Let's click on the Layout tab, and go back to Layout Workspace. It's time to add PBR textures for the trunk of the tree. I will share the download link of the PBR textures in the description. Let's switch the Timeline Editor to Shader Editor. Switch to Material Preview Mode. Click on the New button, and add a new material. Press Shift A, and add an image texture. Click on the Open button, and choose the Bark Diffuse Map. Plug the Color Node to Base Color Node. Select the Image Texture Node, press Ctrl T to add Mapping and Texture Coordinates nodes. It will be added automatically. But, be sure that the Node Wrangler add-on is enabled. Rename this material as Trunk. Switch the Texture Coordinates to Object. Also, switch the Projection Method from Flat to Box. As you can see, a seam appears between repetitive textures. To fix this problem, let's set the Blend Amount to 0.4. The problem has been solved. Also, set the Scale Value to 0.5 for the texture mapping. It looks better now. In the same way, Let's add roughness and normal maps. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about how to use PBR textures in Blender. Now, let's make smaller branches and leaves. To do that, we'll use Alpha Texture. It means, we'll use Transparent PNG Texture Image. I will share the download link in the description. Firstly, be sure that Images as Planes add-ons is enabled. Then, click on the Add menu, Images, Images as Planes. Choose the image we have just downloaded and import into the scene. Let's hide the trunk in the viewport for now. As you can see, it will add a new material that has alpha channel for the plane. OK. We need to change the origin point of the image. So, we can place the branches properly on the tree. Let's switch to edit mode. Press Ctrl R, and add 5 number of cuts vertically. 
Slide the factor value so that this vertex to be right in the middle of the branch. Select this vertex, press Shift S, cursor to selection. So, 3D cursor will move to this vertex. Switch to object mode, right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. There we go. Go back to edit mode again. Let's add horizontal loop cuts enough. Select the any vertex in the middle, and enable the proportional editing tool. Hit the G key, move up the vertex, and scroll up the mouse wheel. So, the influence circle will be smaller. We can edit the plane, so it will looks like more natural. OK. We'll use the particle system to place the branches onto the tree. Let's enable the tree in the viewport again, and go back to object mode. Select the tree, click on the particle system tab. Click on the plus icon, and add new particle system. Let's switch to hair mode. We can shorten the hair length. As you can see, the particles emits from the trunk of the tree also. We just want the hair emits from the upper branches of the tree. To do that, let's switch to weight paint mode. Hide the particle system in the viewport for now. Set the brush weight to all the way up to 1. And set the brush size to 40 pixel. Let's paint the edge of the branches with red color. It means, the red areas will have the most hair particles, the blue ones won't have any hair particles. Go back to object mode. Enable the particle system again. Scroll down to vertex group section, and choose the vertex group we have just created as density. There we go. It is time to change the branch image with hair particles. Go to render section, switch from path to object. Choose the branch object as instance object. There we go. When we zoom in, we can see the branches emits from the tree. We need to scale up the branches. We can increase the scale value. But, firstly let's keep short the branches, and set the rotation of them. To do that, enable the advanced option. Then, enable the rotation option, set the orientation axis to normal tangent. Also, increase the randomize value a little bit so the branches will have different rotation little bit. Now, we can increase the scale value to 2. Also we can increase the random value, so, some branches will be bigger, some of them will be smaller. Finally, set the total number of the particles to 600. Now, it is time to render. Let's switch to render preview mode. Click on the render properties tab, and be sure your active render engine is cycles. Set the maximum samples number to 128. We will use HDRI image for lighting. Click on the world properties tab, click on the color node, and choose environment texture. Click on the open button, and choose any HDRI image. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about how to use environment textures. Click on the Render Properties tab again, scroll down to Film section, and enable the Transparent option. It looks cool. But, we can make semi-transparent material for the leaves. So, it will pass through the sunlight little bit. To do that, select the branch object in the Outliner Editor. On the Shader Editor, press Shift-A, and add a translucent shader. Also, let's drop an add shader between principled shader and output node. Plug the translucent shader to add shader. Also,
plug the color node of the image texture to color node of the translucent shader. There we go. It looks more realistic right now. Let's determine a good perspective. We can also rotate the HDRI image for better shading. Let's add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to snap to camera to view. Select the camera, click on the middle mouse, drag the mouse to zoom in or out. Also we can hit the G key and move the camera. Finally, click on the Output Properties tab, set the resolution to 1080 pixel. Scroll down to Output section, choose the folder you want to save the file. Choose the file format as PNG and be sure that RGBA option selected. So, you can get transparent background output. Go to Render Menu, and Render Image. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.